Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to invite a co-teacher into Google Classroom and how that co-teacher can access Google Classroom with you. So let's go ahead and get started here. You can see my September demo class that I have set up and I want to invite someone to be a co-teacher with me. So I'll select people and over here under teachers, I'll invite and I'm going to, in this case, invite Mason. Now, when I invite Mason, it's important to note that Mason has to be part of my G Suite for Education domain. If he doesn't have an email address from the same domain as me, he won't be able to be a teacher in this domain. Also, you need to make sure that the person you're inviting is listed as a teacher by your G Suite for Education domain administrator and not as a student or something else. So now I've invited Mason and we'll see that's just invited. And let's go ahead and see what Mason receives as an email here. So Mason will see here this invitation to co-teach September demo class number one. And Mason can click there and join. And then he'll be into the class. Now, because he's a co-teacher, he can do everything that I can do except delete the class. So that's really important. If you're inviting someone to be a co-teacher, you know, because they're going to be a substitute for a day or a few days, bear in mind that that person can access everything in this class, including the list of students. They can access the grades. You'll see that right there. And of course, they can access classwork where they can add new materials or simply view the materials that you've already assigned to your students. In this case here, demo assignment number one, they can go and view the assignment right there. And they can even go in and change things over here, including the point value or make it ungraded. So keep in mind when you invite someone to be a co-teacher in your class, they do have access to everything that you have as well. And if you want to remove the co-teacher, simply go back to your people and select remove. Now, if you want to make them the class owner, once they're class owner, then they also have the option to delete the class. So I'm going to remove Mason now. So that's how you can invite co-teachers into your Google Classroom. And you can see now what they can do is everything that you can do. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.